Hey Scribblers. On June 28th, 1969, the Stonewall Riots began. In commemoration of this events that led to like so much of the LGBT plus communities rights that we fought for for many many decades we now celebrate LGBT month in June since President Bill Clinton declared June the official month in 1999 we have been celebrating this for my personal celebration this month, I am only going to be reading books with queer main characters. This is coinciding with my annual reading of only women, trans women, and NB authors of color during the summer. So all of these books are going to be by authors of color. Now I am a very slow reader, so the three books I'm choosing is actually kind of an ambitious list for me. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself but I'm going to try to get through all three books because all of them have been on my TBR list forever and I need to do better about reading the books that I have bought. So the first book is actually probably going to be the easiest one to read. The Princess and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is a book about a gender fluid prince who spends his evenings dressed up by his best friend, his dressmaker, and goes around town as Paris's biggest fashion icon. It's going to be quick because it's actually a graphic novel, so I can probably read this fairly quickly. But I am excited to read it. I've heard amazing things about the book, so can't wait for that. Next is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. This book is about a black ace girl. Like, we honestly don't get enough Aero and ace representation in books, especially with characters of color. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. Alice is going through a rough time after her last girlfriend breaks up with her. She's sworn off dating, but then she meets a guy. Now she has to decide if she really wants to risk her friendship with him for the possibility of something more. The last book on my June reading list is The Love and Lies of Rukshana Ali by Sabina Khan. Rukshana is a Muslim lesbian and tries to hide that part of herself from her family and her community, but her mom catches her with her girlfriend and she is sent off to Bangladesh to live with her grandmother. And Bangladesh is this religious and intolerant place for her but she's lucky enough to find allies there and starts to come into her own so so excited to read this one what books do you guys have planned for your summer reading do you plan on reading any specifically queer books or what are some of your books featuring queer characters that you already love let me know in the comments below maybe we can trade book recommendations. I'm always looking to grow my TBR list no matter how high it gets. Well until next time keep writing scribblers.